Hi everyone, in this video, we'll show you how to replace metahuman characters with CC characters in Unreal Engine and use the sequencer to apply metahuman animations. Since the CC HD profile and skeleton corresponds with metahuman data, we can use Replace Mesh and Copy Animation Track to quickly transfer metahuman animations. Now let's first export a CC character and ensure that the HD profile is applied under Edit Expression, so it's compatible with MetaHuman. To upgrade a legacy extended profile, click on Expression and select CC5 HD. Alternatively, drag the HD profile from the Content Manager onto your character to instantly switch the facial profile to CC5 HD. Next, click on Export FBX. Set Target Tool Preset to Unreal UE5 Skeleton and set FBX Option to Mesh. Since we are only applying MetaHuman animations, we only need the static character model. Then select Subdivision 1 for a good balance of performance and quality, while keeping the other settings at their default values. Return to Unreal and make sure to first install the Auto Setup and CC Control Rig plugins before importing. For guidance, check out the Auto Setup installation tutorials on our channel. Once installed, you'll see the new plugin icon appear at the top. Click Import to bring the FBX into the scene. Select High Quality Shader and enable Morph Target as we want to apply facial expressions while keeping the other settings at their default values. Once imported, select the Skeleton Mesh, right-click on it, and choose Create CC Control Rig. When complete, you'll have a new rig folder with the Skeleton Mesh separated into face and body halves, ready to work with Unreal's Control Rig. Next, let's talk about ways to replace body parts. Here we have a pre-made MetaHuman project featuring an animated MetaHuman character, complete with control rig data. We'll use this character as our example source. First, select the MetaHuman character and enter Blueprint mode. Set the viewport to display the character. Next, remove all hair components below the face to work under more stable conditions. Once done, Click the Skeletal Mesh asset and then choose Ariana Face to replace the head. The same steps can be applied to the body by removing any unnecessary parts. This time, select Ariana Body from the Context menu. Since the CC character doesn't include LOD data, simply remove the LOD entirely and click Compile to apply your changes. Back in the viewport, you'll see that the CC character has fully replaced the MetaHuman character. In the preview animation, both face and body animations are applied correctly. If the MetaHuman has a control rig, the CC character will continue to use the original MetaHuman control rig after replacement. This ensures that all animations are preserved accurately. Of course, you can also use the MetaHuman control rig to further adjust the animations. By using Replace by Mesh, we can quickly swap the MetaHuman with the CC character. Next, let's cover how to copy animation tracks, which is useful for keeping both the MetaHuman and CC character for side-by-side -side comparison. First, go back to the Rig folder, drag the Ariana Rig blueprint into the scene, and adjust its positioning. Select Ariana and click Add to include her in the sequencer. You'll notice a new track is created below, and a control rig is applied to both the body and face. For the next steps, switch to the Animation Mode panel and enable the Hide Control Shapes option to hide the control rig. Then, we can redisplay the MetaHuman character. Select the MetaHuman Body Control Rig. Select all the keys, and right-click to copy all control rig keys and paste them onto Ariana's body control rig. Once complete, you'll see the animation come alive accurately. 
The same steps apply to the face copy the MetaHuman face control rig keys and paste them onto Ariana's face control rig. MetaHuman animations can now be fully applied to Ariana. Since this method doesn't replace the original character, we need to adjust the appearance of the CC character and compare it with the MetaHuman results. You can see that the CC control rig is now identical to the MetaHuman control rig. Next, create a second viewport from the window menu and add a new camera to it. Using this camera, navigate to the facial panel of the control rig and position the display for the optimal view. Then we can use the CC control rig to tweak facial expressions to fit different character styles or simply adjust the expression strength settings. Thanks to data compatibility, the process can be reversed. For example, if the CC character has its own motion, we can also copy its control rig keys back to the metahuman character. Since CC5 characters use facial morphs compatible with MetaHuman, we can replace meshes and copy animation tracks between the two character systems seamlessly. Thanks for watching.